Alright everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. As you saw at the end of the last episode, Ken triggered dialogue and triggered me. So, we're gonna go to him. As soon as I figure out where my teleporter pyramid is. Top right. your ass. We gotta talk to her. The Meister sits slumped in her chair. You notice that some of her scales have dropped to the floor. What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Ask where you can find more Blackroot. Of course. My supply has rather gone up in smoke. You can find more in the cloister woods to the northwest of Driftwood. Hard to get charming place, but it grows nowhere else. You are, uh, you are. Say so you are, you can now channel enough source to proceed. Blessed news. Now hurry. Gather the source you need from the fountain and perform the ritual I don't again. Know, I don't know why he's doing that, because it's like, we, we need the fucking... We need to 420 everything. So we should look in the Cloisterwood region. Where is that? It's in the northeast of Driftwood, right? Uh. Well, unfortunately, this doesn't give me the world map. Like when I, I just have to down. walk outside. Yeah, fuck that. It's a teleporting is for. So, Cloisterwood, you said? Abandoned Lightwood uh, Sawmill. Teleport on you. Oh, there it is. I see it. We have to go to the Reaper's Cove. So you don't want to continue in the the graveyard there, I guess. Do we want to? Yeah, I guess we'll do that then. Maybe we should finish the graveyard. Or where do you want to go? Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Reaper's Cove because that's beside the Cloisterwood. I mean, it, it's it's close by. I feel like if we channel more source, we'll become sauce hunters. It's fine. Sauce hunters, man. We're going to Flavor Town. <laughs> I don't know, but this is this is actually a pretty good place for this. So let's go here. Well, I'd love to, but there's some wisp wood here. I gotta pick up. Oh, I'm, mushrooms! I'm pretty sure someone is yelling at me to continue this as well. We have a lot of backseat gamers. That's like man, it's a big car. Big car? What? I'm like a bus. Oh, dude, there's a fucking. What's it? Wait, why is there a hatch there? Right here. Wanna go explore it? Yeah, 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 actually, let's do that. OCD just kicked down, let's go. How do we get over there? A fucking... Well, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Look what we were our means. This must be the wreck of the Peacemaker. Hey, there's some death fog. Some of her cargo may remain. Hmm. Only out, the only way out is death fog. Oh. Oh, dude, there's a compass there. Oh, yeah, let's get that. How are we going to get to that, though? Gee, if only someone had some kind of teleportation ability. Or or was a skeleton. Are you a skeleton? No. There's also a chest right here. There's also a guy... I'm just going to say, just, just, just because. Actually, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Actually, can you... can you do it or no? Oh, I guess that works. I, I was just... I was, gonna money, put, money. I was gonna put death resist on myself, but you know, that works too. <laughs> Actually, yeah, see if that works. See if that... Why not? <laughs> I'm interested in that. That sounds like fun. Oh, God. Oh. 5,000 damage, but I, I didn't die. Oh god, it's good. It's, it's got a human effect on you. No, I, I lived. It's fine. Okay, you got lucky, kid. I'm gonna get the chest out of there, too. That fog is easy to deal with. Uh, ooh, unidentified shield. I don't know anybody who would want that. Yeah, this one looks pretty garbage. I don't, th I don't think anyone wants that. I, I just, I, I put it into wares. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll sell it later. Alright. Actually, why do I give fucking Sabeel the mushroom? Give that to FN. I mean, you joke about it, but that shield is actually not that great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we lost. Is there anything else there or no? I guess there is nothing There's else there. a single a single crate. That's important. It is important. That I could have all the epics in it. We could have another shield. Oh! <laughs> it, it broke. Alright, never mind, we lost. Or we could have nothing. Alright, let me see here. 
Marcus. There's a note here. I'll read I already, it. I already read it. All right. Well, you, I'm gonna. All right. Okay. Fine. It's all about not reading things. So I decided not to not so not to open things. All right. Just teleport. Good skill toy have. Teleport. Yeah, I was already way ahead of you, buddy. All right. Let's go. There's a cave. Oh, wait, there. I, been in that cave? I didn't even look at the amulet. Uh, oh yeah, we did. That 56 was the... magic armor, lore master, leadership, and lucky charm. I guess that's something for Seville. What's her current amulet? It's a piece of shit, so that works. Nice. Everyone's happy. Alright, manage runes. Critical chance. Ooh, critical chance. Oh, what's what's the recipe for uh, upgrading runes? It's like pixie dust and like three runes or something. Something like that. Was, I remember you said it was pixie dust. Do you have pixie dust? Pix just sticks is stupid expensive though. What? Fuck? Are we rich? Yeah, but I think I was rich when I was looking at it. Fuck. We could have it. But whatever. That's fine. We don't have to. Have How it. rich am I right now? I did buy some skill books. Okay, not that fucking rich. All right, no, fine, fine. Uh, manage runes. Sorry, let me give it the crit chance. How did we get out of this shithole? Uh, I don't know. I'm a glorious Yoshi with wings. All right, I don't have to fucking do deal with anything. Yeah, this is actually kind of weird. Why is it? How did we get uh, down here? Uh, we we got we got here in the first place through the um the cave. So maybe this is actually not supposed to be something that we uh, actually do anything with. Maybe we're supposed to go uh, through another- Oh yeah, you see there's a bridge like over here. Oh yeah, okay, I kind of understand. So this is, um... I understand, this is a cave. We're actually not supposed to do anything here. This is just supposed to be well, like- Well, besides get the sweet captain's amulet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the- that was kind of the reward for the- Oh yeah, this, actually, this, yeah, this, this was the ship that got wrecked here. Yeah, it is. Because it had- that's what- it was full of death fog. Yep. Everything Go. makes sense now. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else we actually do here. Because I can't, I can't jump anywhere, so. And I see where we're supposed to go. I, I just thought that the, uh, I thought that because there was a waypoint here, that there was more to this place. I guess we'll go back to the, the, well, we can go back to the. I'm going to pop my head in the cave real quick. We've already been there. Yes, pop my head in though, it's fine. Right. So I can mentally see where this, oh, this is where you come in. I, I still think we should head to Cloisterwood though, but. I don't know. You know what? Fine. We'll we'll finish up at least the town here. And uh and yeah. Oh yeah, I, know, I remember now cuz you poked your head in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you see can you see when I put it down mark map markers on the map? Or no. Custom markers, I mean. Let's see where you put it. Okay, I'm going to put one in the graveyard. Yeah, it's blue. I see it. It's spooky. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice. I see you have a very colorful way. Then, hey, we're gonna raid this crypt. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know what. Oh shit! My elven eyes. The print of the statue bears a series of deep, circular scratches upon its stone. The statue can be rotated. Rotate it. You cringe at the sound of stone grating against stone. Uh, rotate. The statue rotates with little resistance. Why is it like the, the the text is delayed? It's weird. The statue rotates with little resistance. The sculpture looks impossibly heavy, yet turns with little effort. Is this not where it's supposed to be? What's this? Oh. The headless statue looms over you. Its plinth bears the same rotation scratches as its counterpart. Attempt to repair the statue. Oh yeah, because I have the head. Oh yeah. Okay, you go repair it. Or give it to me. Either one. No, it's mine. Attempt to repair the statue. Oh fuck! Ugh, where's the head? And that's Fane's mask. Where's the head? <laughs> there it is. Oh shit! Loot. Oh dude, think of the fight skill book. Damage boost for every nearby character. Give that to Beast. Silver glass. FN. And I'll take the gold. No, I don't know why I take it every time. All right, so we can. 
The question is, do we really want to raid crypts? This is lock level 3, so you should be able to do this one. Alright, let's fucking grave rob, who cares? Yeah, what's nothing wrong with this? Pauline Lacey lies here. I found something. Bed. As in life, so in death. <laughs> We've been in this Bill place before. Fever. Almost sounds like a lizard name. But here. Just give it a white birth, please don't take that shit up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you going to? I think we will go. These are lizard remains. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you lay your hand on the withered lizard remains. A chill caresses the back of your neck, and the breeze seems to carry an echoing moan. Oh, I know what to do here. Let's see Touch and draw. This Brother, help me, please. Yo, what's the matter, bro? Isn't it obvious? Some thoughtless fool buried me in this grave like some common human. I can't be at peace in a place like this. I have to be put to rest according to lizard tradition. The eternal fire burns in the lizard quarter of the cemetery. I beg you, cast my remains into the fire. Set my spirit free. I will never know peace otherwise. So you found what is written now. I'm gonna ask what's in it for you. Isn't helping your kin enough for you? Fine. Do as I wish, and I'll see that you are rewarded. Alright, see that you, f uh, see that you found some of his remains. Good. Now take it to the eternal fire. Burn it and free me. Alright. Here lieth Jeffer, first name unknown, and of no further use. Alright, let's go find the lizard section of the sanctuary. Spooky, this guy has a ghost next to him. Ghost of himself, I think. At first glance, the spirit seems much like its host. Hollow, detached. Yet, in its eyes, you see something more ominous. Something not apparent before. Agony. Are you in pain? The spirit nods, and its face grows even more tortured. It is trapped. By what or by whom, you cannot say. The spirits as haunted as the graveyard it roams. Tortured roar. The spirit does not talk to you. The oh shit, hi. What? What'd you get? Knock, knock down arrow. Oh, sweet. Arrows that I sort of use. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I'm going this way. There's graves here to, uh, to loot. I mean, rob, I mean. You! Help! I'm down here! Grassy pile. A mind of this magnitude shouldn't be cursed to live like this. Can you... Can you dig me up? Who are you? Well, I used to be... Wait. Who did I used to be? I can say with confidence who I am now, at least. A thinker. The likes of which you've never known and never will. Yeah, sure. Don't worry. There's nothing funny about me. <laughs> Man, that's my Please favorite thing. Hurry. It's... <laughs> the skeleton tries to brush the dirt from his clattering bones, then frowns. The moistest bits are still stuck in his cracks and crevices. He's got 7 HP and 6 armor and magic armor. Existential haze? The fuck? What is that? Dude! Nothing can, nothing, nothing can do so much as harm the uh, uh, as an awareness of the entropy of all existence. You get extremely high resistances. The fuck? I think that's weird. Thanks. You're probably looking for a reward, but I haven't got much, except you know, the wisdom of the ages. He pokes a finger against his ossified head. I'm a bit of a philosopher, you see. Not much else to be, what with all that thinking time. Alright, ask about his wisdom, maybe he can share some. Oh, but I don't just go around giving knowledge away like a... a common medium. The skeleton pauses and sighs, then straightens his spine with a clatter. A soul bond will settle it. A battle of wits. Then the cosmos itself will decide who can better face the truth of our own essence. Me or you. A weak soul may not survive the bond. But I'm sure you'll be just fine. <laughs> Save it. Cock, uh, cock your head. Is, the, is he saying the battle, this battle could prove fatal to you? Battle is dangerous, is it not? I find it to be true anyway, even when you're battling your own mortality. The angst can prove terminal to the weak-willed. What does this soul bond entail? Oh, it's easy. We link up souls and share our innermost beliefs. 
Think of it like an innocent little duel. The winner remains comfortable with their personal truths. The loser, well... Alright, I'll accept the offer. Oh, how fun. Just touch this bone on my ribcage here, right over where my heart would be, if... Well, you know. You reach for the rib in question, but nothing feels different. Not until you try to pull your finger away and it remains glued to the bone. All right, mister. Deep thought. First up, our purpose in life. I say it's to accumulate knowledge. Pretty great answer, eh? Can you do better than that? His jaws clack together in a show of self-assurance. Say your purpose in life is to make the most out of every moment. You question your response the moment it leaves your lips. Your entire body shivers anxiously as you wonder, what is this life's true meaning? Pfft, you poor, precious, pathetic thing. That's what happens when you gaze into an unseasoned soul. Let's see if you can do better this time. Tell me, Sammy Smarty Pants, is there such a thing as free will? I say, no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. Uh... Which one do you think I should do? <laughs> it's your character. Fine. We're a pawn of the higher deities. You are immobilized by fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of nothing. Fear of everything. It aches, as if the weight of the world presses against your skull. I think I'm getting outplayed right now. Aw, oh, the big lizard's as weak as a kitten. There, there. It'll be okay. I hate to ask another question, but the bond demands it. Sorry and all that. So tell me, is there a difference between right and wrong? Don't hurt yourself now. I know how trying this must be for you. State that every culture throughout history has established its own code of ethics. Within those codes, right and wrong are strongly defined. You feel the bond break between your finger and the skeleton. You pull your hand quickly back to your side. The truth of your final answer momentarily calms you, but it is not enough to ease the inner pain ripping through your mind, soul, and body. The pressure builds and builds. Such a pity. <laughs> we lost. What does it say here? Ex it's ex existential crisis. The personal angst the philosophical skeleton has proved fatal. <laughs> Got angst to death? Apparently. Alright, I'll, I'll load it. Get <laughs> loaded, try again, try to be more I mean, philosophical. I, I don't think, I don't know if you can win that. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, like, did I just answer everything wrong? I even did, like, the scholar thing. I think the scholar check worked out in your favor, just uh, the other two did not. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like there's something special for every single one of them. Is it called existential crisis? I want, I want to see. I, I, don't, I don't know if we should just leave it or if I should just look up if there's something special we need to do. I'm thinking there's something special we need to do. I'm thinking either it's like there is a right answer or you just simply need to find someone who has like the social tags to get through it. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up then, because I'm kind of curious. I almost have it. Chill, guys. Dig it? Okay, defeat him in a battle of wits. If your character is undead, you can pick undead tag dancers for all three questions and win. Oh, yeah, there are there are things that you need to get. I don't oh, it even tells you to do to a bit more research, shoulders. actually. That's what it, that, that's what the other that's what one of the options actually said. More not for Crispin, a simpleton's idea of a clever man and a poor man's idea of a rich one. He arrests Timus Anchorit. Ever may he look out upon the woods he loved so dearly. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta keep going then. All right. Sorry. Okay. Gonna be get wiser before you can beat him. Yeah, that's what it says. Like literally, it says there. Like you're supposed to find his. Uh, Oh, we were, we were gonna go to Riker's Rest too, but yeah, we'll come back here at some point. So many places to go right now. Yeah, it's a game with with no shortage of things to do. Right. 
I'm gonna go over here. Oh man, this is what these are the people we killed. Oh dude, dude, there's fucking there's fucking things here. I'm gonna go here. It's not gonna be dangerous in the slightest. Ancestor tree. Pure grace in an undeserving world. The spirit of the tree may have much the spirit of the tree may have much to say. I guess she wants to uh, I guess she wants to talk to it. The roots of a great ancestor tree reach from deep underground to the surface above and beyond. But this tree feels Tainted. Reach into its spirit, searching for its memories. You are a scion of the elves. The mother tree demands your blood. You do not have a choice. She has a plan, and you must serve her with your death. You heed your mother's wishes and take root. But then you hear a voice, a friendly whisper from beyond. The voice knows you. He understands you. He loves you. He offers you your freedom and asks but one small service in return. Grateful, you accept. In an instant, you are an elf once more, walking in the world. But your new friend begins to make demands. Small services, then larger and more often. They cause you pain. At last, he bids you guard your tree. He expects you shall have guests. You shall kill the godwoken when they come. Then you shall be free. Oh, fun. That's, uh... That's something. The roots of a great ant- Alright, there's something else here. Oh wait. Dialogue. The thought occurs. The sign replaced one bad deal with another. Hmm. As they say back in the Just Mez, stop fucking you... doing it. You know it says it every time I you say it. I gotta do it, man! No. Alright, tell you what, I'm not gonna do it. As they say back in Mezd, if you kill the cow for dinner, there's no milk for breakfast. Choices lead to consequences. Desperation oh. leads to stupidity. Among the stupid, anyway. No such thing as luck, only self earned success, or in this case, self earned failure. Everyone's in charge of their own fate. Sounds to me like this incent has down the drain. Alright. Poor guy. He's a tree now. I'm a tree now. I choose my own name. Alright, this this looks like a from Ember to Alright, I think you know how to deal with this. Well first of all, I think you should uh, get that guy's remains and burn them, but yeah. I'll steal that chest. Oh wait, no, I can't. Run the corner. Exactly, I'm trying to throw it over there. Alright. You have done me a great service, friend. Now, the Hall of Echoes back Oh shit. You can get a bow, a dagger, an elven sword, one-handed, or a shitty pair uh, of ink gloves. Do you want the shitty pair of ink gloves? The chest ambushed me. Oh, dude, dude, but do, what do you want here? Do you want do you want ink gloves, or do you want uh, the one-handed uh, uh, sword, which is 25 to 27? What's on the ink gloves? Nothing. There's 46, uh, 46 magic armor and 8 physical. Well, I guess I do... I, sure, I'll give it the ink gloves, because I... Why not? Alright. Just ambushed you. Just before you is covered in old ancient empire pictograms. You consider trying to find some kind of lock picks in your bag, but looking at the chest, you don't see any keyhole. Yeah, now we tried to lock pick it, and then this <laughs> happened. <laughs> Go. You hear a deep rumbling from inside the chest, and a voice emerges. It hisses and clicks, but doesn't make any sense. I thought uh, we'd talk to it. Take your leave and let uh, the little lizard talk anyway. to it. Yeah. The chest before you is covered in old ancient empire pictograms. You consider trying to find some lock picks in your bag, but looking at the chest, you don't see any keyhole. You hear a deep rumbling from inside the chest, and a voice emerges. It hisses and clicks at you in the old tongue, your people's ancient language. This chest recognizes Consul Zara as master. Speak her words or return me to the flames. <laughs> Try to reason with the chest. Uh, wait, what words? What is it talking about? This chest does not answer the questions of fools. Speak the words of Consul Zara or return me to the flames. Try to reason with the chest. Oh, dude, fucking... What, 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 how much fucking shit does that have? Oh, I don't know. How much intelligence does the chest have? Um, what's my, what's my highest stats? 
Constitution and strength. A memory, my memory's not that bad. Demand that the chest open before a prince of the ancient empire. Yes! This chest would never normally open on command, but the empire is far away. Perhaps this is the best way to protect its treasures. Sneaking su successful. Nice. Uh, finesse gloves for Sabil. Dukes up. Nice. And fire arrow. And then restoration scroll for Ethan. And. Oh, gold. Salt gold. Those are some nice gloves, actually. Alright. I reasoned with the chest. It's all good. Good job. You diplomacyed the chest. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of you. Here lies an unnamed bag of bones found long after the flood. Mama! Here lies Bidsy Vanyan, drowned in rum. If the Hall of Echoes at Tavern be, thus it is reserved. All right. Well, let's see A here. A stately knight. I feel safer in his presence. What cause did this knight serve, I wonder? There's a dog here. The dog growls and bears its teeth at you in a wide, unsettling grin. You swear you see a worm emerge from its grey-pink gums, then burrow back in. Come closer. I dare you. <laughs> uh, uh, take a step ahead. <laughs> he sniffs. He snarls. I am death. There's no defying me. Take another step. You would mock the beast after crawling into its mouth. The dog's growls intensify and transform into a rhythmic rasp that mimics laughter. You swear you see the ground behind him momentarily churn and tremble. Not one step further. I know what you want here, but Kenna's already laid claim to it. Uh, what is... Who is Kenna? <laughs> she calls herself Master. I call her Minion. Whatever name you choose, it is her hand that will wield it. The dog raises its head to the stormy sky and howls. The earth beneath you vibrates, a dirge plucked on the strings of a rotting lute. Necrotic troll, you are summoned. Crawl through the gate. The earth opens for thee. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, that's um, a big guy. For you. Uh, <laughs> please don't just kill Sabiel in one turn. <laughs> she just kill, killed Sabiel in one turn. Did Sabiel at uh, least bleed? Alright, she did. She <sighs> death would go in vain. Fuck, man. Glory is mine. There's no need to be upset. People are telling me to get fucking far out on her. I'm gonna get fucking the shit where she can't die in one hit. <laughs> Come back, kid. Yeah. I respect that. I refuse to put constitution on her. She's glass cannon. I just say. Right. Uh, I want to not die. This, no, the dog has physical armor. Of course he does. Yeah, no, there's only death here. What is... What is... Uh, I just have, I, oh. Oh, yeah. I, ca I can't, I can't uh, examine her. Wait, Sabiel is sharing... <laughs> Sabiel is sharing uh, uh, her lore master while dead. Well, yeah, she's very dedicated, you know. Yeah, his damage. Well, is you you can see spirits; well. it's fine. You can see ghosts. All right. So who's gonna uh, res Sabiel? I'll do it if you want. Yeah, please. So I'll, I'll even hook her up. Some put good her, shit. Put her like extremely far away, like over here somewhere. No promises. <laughs> or or up here, that's that's also counts as high ground, but <laughs> I know where to put her. Where? In, in prison. Oh, she's not in prison, she's over there. It was a very narrow thing to get in there, but here's what I can do. Why well, I can't do it this time actually. Fuck. Well I can see Sabiel don't do this to me. Fuck, you put her too far away. Well, that was the idea. 
Yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna death resist her. I can't do anything for her, actually. Death resist e instead. You're fine. He's the next like getting nuked. But I, I can't heal her, even. You know what I can. What's your drink a potion? I'll deal to not. Actually, no, I potion, so you probably just chug that shit. Like, it'll be a full heal for, like, oh. a free 30 heal. I could've, I could've actually disabled this guy, I just realized. Oh, well. Can't do it anymore. Alright. Alright. That worked out. I sincerely hope you can't leave that little nook. I, I hope I can't either, honestly. I don't want. I don't want to be here. I mean, I, I can. I can tactical retreat out, but okay. So like, you're you're in prison, but you can leave. It's fine. Um, I mean, I can shoot only only the dog. That's probably fine. He has the physical armor. All right. And you probably have high ground bonus on him, right? Yes, I do. Wait, why am I not allowed to barrage? Who the fuck knows? Um. I can first aid nobody, so that's it for well, that. Well, no one's wounded. Yeah. I want to Charmeleon Cloak for one turn. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright. You become that fire type Pokemon. You do it. Wait, what did it say? Wet was removed by invisible. Oh, yeah, she'll have one turn. This okay, this guy's spawning a lot of shit. <laughs> well, I got my shit out. Don't worry, you have death resist. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's almost a good. Hey, wet removed. Yeah, I mean that's that's what happens. I forgot that. I forgot this place is all wet. Hmm. Fuck. I once did oh it knocks down? What the fuck? Yeah, well, I don't have a lot of I don't have enough physical armor. Well, I know the play. Come on, I can't oh, there we go, not yeah, I got through one. Where you still have death resist yeah. for one turn. I'm just doing my CC stuff. I don't think I can get a uh, good one there, but this will do. So we want to take care of the dog, right? Yeah, the dog is a summoner, so we can nuke the dog, at least it'll stop things. Like, I, it should kill the things that got spawned. Mm. I just figured, uh... <laughs> It's in our best interest to knock down the guy who one shot Sabeel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh Wait, my suck. god, 12 HP. I don't, I don't have anything I do, that's 1 HP Drink worth wine. <laughs> Drink wine. Scold. There we go. Dinner. <laughs> Oh man, you should have ate that guy's leg as just an action. I need aid. I need aid. Yeah, you still have death resist, but it's uh. Fuck you, dog. Oh good. Man. All right, what does the dog have? Uh oh, it's unidentified two-handed mace. That's actually really nice. That is extremely nice. Well, fancy you. Wait, what? Why did I drop two maces? Wait, what the fuck? A throwback to a more civilized time. Why can't I pick this Not up? That I remember such a time. Okay, now I picked it up. That's weird. Human graves. Let's hope none are earmarked for me. Who wants water resistance? I'll just give it to Ethan. You know him so well. Oh, yeah, that's a nice weapon. 
Oh, hey, lava. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of human skeletons in the ground. I've already been looting them. Okay. Oh, fuck. What do I do? There's hand water pump. There's a lava. A hand water pump? Human graves. Let's hope none are here. I'm gonna pull lava. YOLO. Hey! Oh, there's a hatch. Oh, let's go in there. Gotta go down there. I'll see you later. Oh shit, there's a petrified plunderer. Uh, oh, there's Kwana. Alright, but they're all petrified. Uh, so still here, like the air itself's been petrified. Several flakes of something float to the floor from the petrified body. How long has it been down here? Well, I think we should be careful. Simple nah. air, wooden figurine, backpack. What's in the backpack? Uh, thunderbolt grenade and gold. Petrified pillager, petrified marauder. Hmm. I mean, they're they're all standing around this this fucking uh, tome you here. You scrape your finger along the statue and note the dust that coats it. The petrified woman cannot speak, but her eyes glow. Okay, while well, they glow. Oh, well, I should. The petrified the flag. woman waits, but if her blood red eyes are any indication, she doesn't do so patiently. She's petrified permanently. I mean, we can kill her now. I don't think she's happy, but... Oh, we can start screwing with things. Hey, I'm petrified. <laughs> oh, terrifying. I, there's items in there, though. Can you can you remove my petrif uh, petrification? I don't want... Actually, I can! <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> I guess we should remove it on her as well. Hey, ready to do that? It's, uh, yeah. let's give us... She doesn't look... She's not happy, though. Can you talk to her? Uh, no. The petrified woman. She, it just says she's she's not happy, but she's petrified, so... Well, you imagine she wouldn't be happy if she's petrified. I mean, whatever. Can, can Sibyl get rid of it? No. Kind of blessed, but I just... Magic Arm is free, so why not? Yeah, so just just do magic armor for on her. Right, oh boss. Why well, isn't this rich? Cursed by a cop and rescued by a ra random rube. The indignity. Continue. She huffs in annoyance and rolls her eyes. Oh, all this trouble and for nothing. Never figured I'd need frost armor. Hmm, ignore her competitive tome and ask how she was petrified. Well, we already know that actually it was the tomb, but let's ask anyway. You want me to spoil the story before you see how it ends? I'd never be so rude. She purses her lips and coyly tilts her head. Oh, but do forgive me. I haven't offered you proper thanks. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back, hand mere inches from her staff. <laughs> it's just do intelligence. It's not gonna work. Fine. Uh, how about I just back down and come looking for trouble? Alright, fine. No, fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> she rises from her bow. The deep blue veins on her face pulse violently. Do you have a scroll of magic armor? Because we can try and load it and I can do... I can undo her. Oh, honey. I, I know think I do, but let's see where this goes. End, but Anathema is still out there, and I'm not keen on competition if you get more drift. I mean, a it, jolt of cursed fire flares from her staff. It's just her. Bring it. Uh, like, just, do you think she can take us? I mean... I mean, if you want, if you want to try, it's up to you. Do you have a scroll though for it? Oh uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Checking right now. Fucking my bag is all the way at the bottom because beast is so d damn big. Oh, she, wait, she has magic shell right now. <laughs> yeah, because I gave it to her. Oh right. Oh nice job. You yeah, I can only it. check on my turn. Uh. What are you shame picking me for? <laughs> I have to do it to get rid of petrified. You can't. Turn up and end your turn so I can check my bag. I'm ready. I we lost. Oh no, a skeleton. 
She's a necromancer. We're gonna kill her. Uh, two skeletons. Wait, how come she gets two minions? That's against the rules, <laughs> isn't it? Hey, no, that's not right. Oh. Stop that. <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> it's like a baby skeleton. <laughs> Summon caught summon things, that's how you get exponential bullshit. It's like the first rule of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh no, the baby skeleton's running away. Wait, he's making it alone! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I hope we die! I really hope we die! Oh my god! Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucker, I need to check my bags. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god! What is this fucking Russian doll? Alright, thanks, everyone. Alright, yes, I have a scroll of armor of frost. Alright, you know Let's do that then. I'm glad we went through that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that, you know, I would I wouldn't I would mind doing that fight, but you know. I wouldn't mind doing that fight either, I looked stupid. And also sad we'd probably just let's be real, we'd just jump on her, kill her, and then all the sounds would go away. Yeah. But man, that was funny. It was glorious. It's like any any game where it's like, hey, here's a thing that can summon things. <laughs> the thing that it summons generally doesn't summon anything else. But no, it's fine. whatever, let's do it. Good. <laughs> Too can you good. Can you also give me magic armor for a second? The whatever the spell is. Like you Oh yeah, you sure, just... if you want to loot the thing. Yeah. Because that's how it's that's how I'll be able to do it. Godspeed. Got it. Okay, oh no, I'm this scroll. A ghoul, shield. Magical mail boots. Okay, that's something for Sabeel. Oh, check your privilege. Okay, there's nothing else here. Eh, the boots aren't bad. I'll cope them. Alright, did you give me the scroll? Yes, I did. Alright. Well, isn't this rich? Cursed by a coffin and rescued by a newt. The indignity. Rescued by a newt. She huffs in All, right. All this trouble and for nothing. Uh, Never figured I'd need frost armor. Tell you tangle with her mutt. He's not so pleasant. A mutt? Oh, please. He's no mutt any more than I'm a maiden. Oh, but do forgive me. I haven't expressed proper gratitude. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back, hand mere inches from her staff. Cut your fist, you don't know what who she's messing with. She rises from her bow, her face frozen in fear, you presume? It isn't long, however, before she shakes her expression away and takes a defensive stance. Oh, your type is so predictable. Spot a problem, and you grab a blade and get to stabbing. A jolt of cursed fire flares from her staff. Anathema will be mine. Okay, so apparently we cannot avoid this. One second, I'm gonna start fighting my heart. Yes, yeah, yeah. One second. to arrow spray her. Live it. I can knock her down. I mean, you could. No, you, Is she you, immune to knock down? Let me check that first. No, no immunities. But she has walk it off. Knockdown's like one turn anyway, so it should be fine. If you want to burn a knockdown arrow, it's your choice. Of course I do. Do it. I don't want yeah. the I don't want the fucking Russian like <laughs> I, fucking I, I, I kind thing. of want the Russian doll. No. Let's fuck her up. 
do it. So apparently it didn't do anything though. We could we couldn't stop her. Of course, she's unstoppable. Was, yeah, why not? Well, I tried to convince her, and it was like nothing. Maybe it's like another case, like with the genie, where its uh, strength just doesn't work. But she was kind of scared. It said. Now she's just spooked. Man, beast, to work on that damage. I don't think this is advertiser friendly, Mike. <laughs> Why? It's fine. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Did she say anathema? All right. Uh, I mean, you want to go free the the bandits, and we'll just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. Might you well. know why not? Oh, she has a key. Oh, does she? Oh. Nice. I mean, all right. Here's something for. You. You, I think you have a necromancer, don't you? I, I am a necromancer. Raise yeah. Bone Widow skill book. There's a right. key and there's a rift page I'll give to you. Page is swole as fuck. I, mean, I don't know when I'm ever going to use this, but fuck it. <laughs> You've been using it giggles. Oh boy. Oh shit. Dude, that's kind of badass. I kind of like, this look a little bit cool. I mean, I, I don't have any fucking, like, uh, summoning skill. It has 550 health. What does mine have? Let's find out. Devour a corpse and receive a damage buff. Burrow. It has it's, more it's, a lurker. it's a lurker! It's a lurker! It's a lurker! Or it's a haka or something. I don't know. <laughs> haka? <laughs> I mean, did that cost a source point to cast? I hope not. Oh, it didn't. No. Why is the bill missing a source point? Because uh, she used arrow spread at the beginning of that fight. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Alright, so which one do you want to go first? Chain ping him. Two fingers of oh, this guy. Oh. What? Oh. He died. He had an amulet. Oh, dude, these guys are just money bags, okay. Retribution and summoning. Okay, I'll give that to you, I guess. Oh, summoning my Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, get this guy then. Some cooldown. If you're not careful, I'll fucking do it to you. High quality, tormented soul. Nice. High quality? I'll give that to Sabeel. Sabeel wants that. Alright, I guess we're done here. Oh, wait. What do you mean? Oh, there's there's like, so here. many more. There's a guy here. Do you want me do you want the money or not? That's a good call. Oh. Like, Look, you can talk to a ghost. Yeah, I'll do that. The spirit's lip curls upwards. She opens her mouth as if to speak, but her words fade in the tomb's chill. Uh, focus on the spirit's eyes. The glimmer within reveal the purpose, of, uh, her purpose in this tomb. But we know the purpose. Fine, fine. Let's just do it. The longer you gaze, the more your inner source churns. You are drawn into her, her mind, her body, her past. They are no longer hers, but yours. You sit at a fire. At your left lies a black dog basking in the warmth. Others huddle behind you. A young elf, a grizzled dwarf, and a skeleton, an undead. You hold a parchment up to the light and point at it. It is there, there that anathema can be found. Uh, retain your focus on these unfamiliar memories. The sky is dark, and the roaring fire is now a sad flicker. The others lie around it in a circle, but you hear no snores. Their chests neither rise nor fall. Their eyelids never twitch. You look to your left. The dog's yellow eyes lock with yours, and the two of you turn from the ring of corpses. And you gasp as you are thrust into the present. You take a few deep heaves, then glance at the spirit. Her mouth continues to gabble, but you're grateful that only silence reaches your ears. All right, leave the spirit for you. The spirit's lips... Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Alright, nothing... Nothing else good, just good. golden soul. Oh, Petrified Marauder, though. Alright. Well, is that it? Looks like it, is it? No, dude, I could... Uh, spirit of the dog. Ah, oh, the dog, the yeah! The spirit rolls his head around, gawking at the ground and sky as if he'd never seen them before. Then, locks his eyes on yours. He snarls, unconvincingly. <sighs> I am... I am... Death! <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Boy, he sure showed you. Indeed. The masses tremble at my might. We will retrieve Anathema. Our enemies will bow before the demon blade. He moves to lick his haunches and seems taken aback by his own translucence. Uh, ask what he means. What is Anathema? Once a demon, now a weapon. We heard its call and slayed our allies in its name. It is near. With it, we will slay living and undead alike. There will be no mercy. The canine spirit lifts his head to howl, but can barely manage a whimper. He tucks his tail between his legs, shocked at his own impotence. Is that it? I will not be Poor doggo. denied. He will not be denied. Use the hand water pump. All right. Well, oh, it's a what's a well. <laughs> we need to call it a day. So, uh, peace out, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and take care. Goodbye. Bye.